when, you, when you're picking your industry, this is what you look for. It's fairly simple. You want to look for an industry that's fragmented. What, what do I mean by fragmented? Highly fragmented, as a matter of fact. What do I mean by that? There's a lot of mom and pop store, uh, shops. Or simply put, there's just a lot of small mom, mom and pops uh, you know, of those businesses. You want to look for a, an industry that has 20 to 30. Hey, you know who it is. Once you see me, you can't unsee me. Just wanted to bring you guys a quick video. Uh, it's been a while since I've actually, you know, <laughs> made a live appearance on, the, uh, on my videos. But nonetheless, here it is. A lot of you guys been hung up on picking an industry. And let me just say this. It's not that hard. Seriously, it's not that hard. You want to pick an industry, and as a matter of fact, some of you guys have an industry, and you guys just contemplating, hey, is this the right industry? X, Y, Z. Stop wasting the fucking time, because you don't have it. Seriously, think about it. Just think about that. You're going to waste, you're wasting 90 days, 120 days, 180 days, just to pick an industry? Like, are you fucking kidding me? Come on. Pick an industry, make a decision, and move forward. But with that said, I'm going to give you what I look for when I, when I decided to choose my industry, medical devices, you know, and why. But nonetheless, let's go. When, you, when you're picking your industry, this is what you look for. It's fairly simple. You want to look for an industry that's fragmented. What, what do I mean by fragmented? Highly fragmented, as a matter of fact. What do I mean by that? There's a lot of mom and pop store, uh, shops. Or simply put, there's just a lot of small mom, mom and pops, uh, you know, of those businesses. You want to look for a, an industry that has 20 to 30 percent profit margin minimum. What else? Service based business. What do I mean by that? Think about it. Um, roofing, plumbing lawn uh, lawn services right um coin laundries right businesses like that service-based business accounting that too uh finance uh businesses that's providing a, a you know a service to an individual what else what else what else but basically there's a lot of these uh, small businesses right so uh service service based business 20 to 30 percent profit margin a lot of mom and pop and there's not one single competitor that dominates that industry that's what you uh, want to look for all those things and literally that's it it's that simple seriously it's that simple so within my research when i started researching the healthcare industry i picked a subsector medical device and within that, what I did was I actually went in depth. I started looking, okay, within medical device, what devices are the hottest? So I started going in depth into it, looking at what is the market size for cardiovascular? Uh, yeah, cardiovascular. What is the market size for or, uh, orthopedics? What is the market size for MRI imaging, surgical robotics, endoscopy, uh, uh, wound management? diabetic care you know uh anesthesia so i look within those markets dental manufacturing equipment so i look within those markets and i said okay i see i see where these markets are i see which market is the highest globally and i started going in uh, more in depth hey what do these companies experience when there's a time of recession how do these companies behave what are the trends start looking at that okay i see that it's great is this business recession proof is this industry recession proof no there's not a single business in this world that is recession uh, recession proof if anyone tells you that that is a lie there are businesses however that is recession resistant and i found that out so my industry is recession resistant highly highly recession resistant what else but the further the more you do research the more you're gonna find out about your industry. But it's not, that, it's, not that, it's not that big of a deal. You can always switch your industry. 
You guys act like once you pick your industry, uh, industry, you can't switch over. Come on, seriously. Get over it. Like, that should be the uh, number one thing. Also, I see you guys, you guys haven't even picked an industry. However, you're worried, uh, you're worried and concerned about what do you say to your chairman? Come on. It doesn't make sense. You're hustling backwards is what I call that. How are you worried about, you know, Z and you haven't even learned to write A? Come on. So get your priorities straight. That's what it is. And what are you doing with your everyday, uh, everyday life, everyday time? What, some of you say you don't have the time. Are you kidding me? We all have 24 hours in our day. I've said this uh, in a previous video before. So what, what is it that you're doing with your time? You have a, a eight hour job, a 10 hour job? Hey, guess what? You shouldn't have gotten into M&A. I'm just saying. You shouldn't have gotten into m and This is not for you. If you're just going to sit around and make excuses, this is, not, this is not for you. Plain and simple. If you're sitting around broke, it, this is not for you. If you think you're just going to, hey, you're going to get into this, and within 90 days you're going to build a team, and you're going to make an acquisition, become a millionaire, ha, pipe dream, son. Pipe dream. You hear me? That's not happening. A scarcity mindset. That's what that is. Switch it to an abundant mindset. Say, hey, this is my deadline. This is the time I want to achieve this. I'm going to achieve this. I'm going to make sure I do everything in my power to achieve this. So what does that look like? If I have a nine to five, guess what? Dedicate. Listen, for, for one, individuals who have a nine to five, don't call yourself a, uh, an entrepreneur. Straight up. You have entrepreneurial tendencies. That's it. Okay? Don't, don't get it confused. That's just what it is. Let's call a spade a spade. However, you say you have a nine to five. Guess what? I guarantee you there is more than two, three hours that you waste on bullshit. So allocate that time to building your business. You want to succeed, but you, wanna, you don't want to take the necessary steps. It doesn't mix. I know I'm kind of going on on a rant right now, but it's just I've spoken to so many individuals and it's the same thing. Same thing. And someone said people would love to, people would, you know, sit there and watch YouTube videos all day, but they don't take action. And I see that. I'm nobody. I am literally no one. It just came out of nowhere. But however, look at the progress that I've made so far. And I share everything with you. I share my calls. Hey, I'm not, I don't have to tell you, hey, this is what I do. This is how I do it. No, nah, screw that. I'm going to let you listen to exactly what it is raw, right? Besides for the individual's uh, information, which I can't divulge right now. Besides that, you see everything. You hear everything. So come on, man. Like, let's, let's just cut the crap. Let's cut the crap. Success and excuse does not mix. It's like water and oil. You got a better chance of mixing water and oil than you have with that. So cut the bullshit. Stop bullshitting yourself. And when you're ready, pick an industry and start moving forward. Come on <laughs> and reach out to me. I got a list. If you, okay, I'm going to make it more easier for you. Simplify the process because now you won't have no excuses. I have a list of the hottest industries right now right now, which the top industries, that's the hottest right now, which I've heard from my uh, industry expert in healthcare right now, it's telehealth. That is the hottest industry, telehealth. Aside from that, you have AI and you have cybersecurity. <laughs> but contact me, get in touch with me. I'll give you a list of about 12 to 20 of the hottest industries right now you can take advantage of. That way you have no more excuses. Cut the bullshit, cut the crap, get it done, right? Come on now, get it done. So let's go.